you are welcome to my channel. At the right hand side, we have a figure that shows two pipes of different diameter intersecting each other at an angle of what 60 degree. Unlike the previous video where the two cylinders were intersecting each other at an angle of what 90 degree. They were perpendicular to each other. If you have not come across that video, you can just click on the link at the top right corner of the screen in order to access the video. Now, these two cylinders are intersecting each other at an angle of what? 60 degrees to each other. But this particular arrangement of orthogonal projection is called, um, we we'll call it the third angle projection, unlike the previous one that is in first angle. Why am I saying it's a third angle? Because the plan now is on top of what? Of the elevation. So the first thing you draw, you start drawing from the plan, like I said earlier. Now we'll move forward. We'll draw from the plan. First of all, you take your set square this way, and you're going to draw an horizontal line. Right? You draw an horizontal line this way. Let's do that and see. I'll draw this horizontal line in this manner. Paint line. You can see that. Let me make it more visible. Now, we'll pick a point on that line. Let's say this point. This way. On that line, I'm going to take my C square, placing it on my T square, and I'm going to draw the vertical line. You can see that they are meeting at this point. Now, I cannot take the radius of that circle there, this circle, which is giving it as um, 50 and I'm going to take half of it which will be 25 so place it this way and I measure 25 from 0 to this point here is 25 and placing it at the center I'm going to draw a circle in this manner I'm going to thicken it draw a circle in this manner You can see that now doing that i'm going to draw a line that is close to it or if you look at the cylinder that is penetrating it we're not actually given the dimension of the cylinder penetrating it but we know that the dimension of this other cylinder here which is 40 millimeter diameter this particular one is the same as this one here so the one at the elevation is the same as one in the plan right so I'm going to measure diameter of what 40 by taking the radius of what 20. So when I take 20 from here to here is 20, right? Then I'm going to place it at the center here. I'll mark up and I'll mark down. So with the help of my T square, I'll extend this point from the circumference. Now if I trace it from here, I won't draw it from here. So from circumference and I'll draw it out. I'll come here also. I'll start from the circumference. I'll draw it out with reference to this point. So I will leave it there that way. Now the next thing I'm going to do because I need to draw this circle that is here. It's not a circle, it's electrical shape. And I cannot just draw it that way. So I'll leave it first. Then I'll go back to the elevation. So you go back to the elevation, I have to project the two end points of the cylinder of this here I project it downward and I'll project this also downward you can see that then at this two point as you can see I am going to thicken it in this manner as close as you can but not touching the figure so from here to here is 50 just like from here to here is 50. now the total height of this figure is given to be 90. so i measure 90 
from here. This is my tea. You can see that. I can just easily take it downward. You can see that. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to draw an horizontal line here to close it up. And also, try to draw this line to touch here, but I'm using my faint line. Now, if you look at the diagram very well, you will discover that for me to draw my cylinder penetrating the at an angle of 60 degree, we are given a height. The height of what? The height of 35 from the base, just like from here to here is what? Is 35. So I'm going to measure from the base point here. Zero to thirty-five. You can see that to use thirty-five. Then from that point, I'm going to measure my angle of sixty degrees. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to when you stay in this particular way, naturally this is thirty degree. Is that okay now? But in the diagram, we are told it is what sixty degree, meaning that they are taking, they are setting their angle. From here, starting from vertical line, so it's from zero at the vertical axis towards the horizontal axis. So they are going um, clockwise. So zero, the next line is what is ninety. Is that okay? Instead of the normal way that you're going backward and clockwisely from zero, ninety, one eighty. But now they're taking their zero degree to be the vertical line. So I'll place it this way. Now I'm going to draw a vertical and arc this way. Since, look at, let me show you something here. From this point, they're taking, this is 0 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 180 degree, and what, 270. So they're starting their measurement from the vertical axis. So this is 0, 60, and what, 90. They're taking now, naturally, this is what, 30 degree. But because of this particular question, they are giving taking the vertical axis to be what 90. So we we'll move forward. Now from here, we've drawn the horizontal line up this way. Now the next thing is the distance of what 60. I'm going to count. That means from here, I'll measure the distance of 60 from the center point. So I'm going to measure 60 from here from 0 to 60, which is at this point here. You can see that. So I'll come here. I will now use since I use uh, this side of the chest square to draw the 60 degree. I'm going to use this other side here to draw a line that will make it becoming 90 degree, which is this here. And the reason I'm using 90 uh, this particular side is that if you project with 60, you counter it with what 30. If you project with 45, you can't tie with what 45. If you project with 20, you can't tie it with what 70. The only reason for both of them, addition of both of them should give you what 90 degrees, they should be perpendicular to each other. Is that okay now? So that's why I take the radius of this, which is 20. Well, I measure 20 on my meter rule, I place it here, I measure 20, 20. Now I will now extend it to from this point, I will extend it down to touch this point. I will thicken it. Then from this point, I will extend it down to touch this point. I will thicken it. Then from here, I will do this. From here, I will do this. Just to cover everything up, and from here, I get this, and I'll close it up too. You can see that. So now we can start working.
So what I'm going to do is close to it. I'm going to draw a semicircle. We'll do a vertical line here first, parallel to that axis this way. You can see that another point. I'll do the same thing around here at any given distance if I want to. Here too. Where I can draw my semicircle. And once I place it at this point with the same radius of 20, I'm going to draw my semicircle. Also at this point too, I'm going to draw my semicircle. And I'm going to divide it into 12, into 6, so placing it here with the same radius of 40 that I used to draw the semicircle. I'll mark up. I'll come here also. I'll mark here. I'll come here also. Mark up and down. Do the same thing from here too. Place it here. Mark here. Place it here. Mark here. Place it here. Mark up and down so i can easily say that by his numbers in the previous video i used the um, alphabet so let me use number here so i can start from if i start from one here this will be two this will be three this will be what four and here will be what three two one you can see that if i start from since i started four from here I had a one from the vertical here because that one from here. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can see that. So I'm going to use my meter rule and project those points to the center of the semicircle. Just like you can see. You see that now we'll start all these points i'll project it to touch the circumference of the circle just like in the previous video i'll project them with the help of my t square project it to touch here project it to touch here project it to touch here and also here you can see that now if i've done that I also project all these points. So what I'll do is, this is three. I'll project three downward, right? So this is the line of three. You can see that. So I'll use this point to project three downward, and also I'll use still the same thing to project three. The most important thing is that your line must be parallel to each other. So in those three points, if you realize they're on the same point, three and three, I can easily use my rule. This is two points, I can easily draw a straight line. You can see that. I easily draw a straight line from here, or I can use my C square this way. You can see that. So if I draw a line from here, downward, so that is touching this point which will be my point three and also this point which also be my point three you can see that now the next one is let's go to four now this is four here right and this is the line of this is point four and point four you can easily project it down this way and the same point not necessarily i must draw them together so i'll just draw it down to touch point four this is point four here. You can see that line four is meeting this. Now the next one is two. So if I project the two from here straight down to come here, also 
2.2 from here straight down to touch here right and this is the line of two here this is two and this is two on the same point you can easily bring them down right so this is two coming down to this point two two will meet in two here and also two will meet in two here right now the next one is one so the one is already there which is this is the line of one here touching the circumference here then coming down meeting this point and also coming down meeting this point so this is point one this is one point one that again so i'm going to use my french curve and i'm going to connect these points together this way can see that that is the curve of intersection of that part but this is not over yet since this cylinder is intersecting at an angle of what 60 degree right if you are looking from the top you will see that there's a circular shape there because the cylinder from the top because it's exposed to the to the top so i'm going to draw that's what brings about this ellipse in diagram you can see so what i'm going to do is all this point here i'm going to project it now this is point one i'll project point one up this way you can see that so point one you can see the point one i put it up so we have uh, the next one is i move forward i put at this point also point three Make sure that you're doing the right thing. So move forward. So the next one is a um, point three. Then point two. This point three. Here four. Here also. Here also. So since I project point one, point one meeting point one here, right? Then also I'll go forward. Let me just draw the line upward. Finish. Wow. This is what you should avoid. Avoid your diagram this will be as far away as possible so let's move forward so this is point one meeting line one then we have two meeting line two three meeting line three four meeting line four it continue that way just like that until it comes down continue that way you can see that so I'll just take my French curve and I'm going to draw all these points together this way. You can use your hand if you are perfect enough. I see that. So you draw this point, and this is what we are going to be having. I'm taking this, and also taking this. Right, so where one meets one, where two meets two, where three meets three, then this is four. This is another two, this is another three, this is another four. This is also point three, this is also what? Point two, point one, point two again, then point three back to four. So those points. So you don't have to start writing this lecture. I'm only doing this to enhance your what your understanding is that taken so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching